To say 2023 was a busy year in the weather department would be a big understatement. Indeed, and tonight's special report, our chief meteorologist, Emily Walls, takes a look at just how busy Mother Nature was and what it means for this year. To say 2023 was a busy year in the weather department would be a profound understatement. Chicagoland had a record-breaking year in several different ways when it came to the weather. But perhaps the most remarkable is the sheer number of tornadoes that touched down. For those of you in DuPage County, you do have an active tornado warning. This is now a confirmed tornado on the ground. It's been spotted by spotters. The Chicago National Weather Service confirmed 58 tornadoes in the 2023 calendar year which shatters the forecast area's previous tornado record of 30 set back in 2015. We spoke to Brett Borkhardt of the National Weather Service. It, it's remarkable. Uh, with 58 tornadoes, that's uh, nearly four times the average of around 15 to 16 tornadoes in a year, and it's double the previous record of 30 tornadoes in 2015. When you think severe weather season in Illinois, you typically think of the spring and early summer months. But Mother Nature threw out the rule book in 2023, and the year started off with a bang. It was the first time in our area's recorded history in which there were tornadoes in January, February, and March of the same year. Our biggest tornado outbreak of 2023 occurred in late March. The March 31st outbreak produced 22 tornadoes across Chicagoland, and it was one of three days in 2023 where our area had 10 or more tornadoes in a single day. Uh, 2023 was odd. Tornadoes started in January, February, March, and April. Uh, they took a break uh, in May and especially June. There were no tornado touchdowns in our local area, and then it picked up again in July. So while June was a quiet month for us, that was not the case in July. We had a record number of tornadoes in July of 2023 with a count of 27. The previous record for July tornadoes stood at only four, set in 1993. For the first time since records began in 1950, all 23 counties in the Chicago National Weather Service forecast area had at least one tornado occur in the same calendar year. So this begs the question, what will 2024 bring? Well, we don't see any signal one way or the other. Uh, as far as we can tell, we're heading into an average season. Uh, typically, severe weather strikes as early as March. We get maybe one or two days in an average March with severe weather, and it only increases from there. While we're now in the middle of winter, the time to start prepping for severe weather season is now. Uh, do you have somewhere to go if a tornado warning is issued for your area? Uh, just to be ready before the, the thunderstorm strike. Right, this just tells us to be ready. Yeah, yeah, you know, last year we were halfway through and I remember thinking, man, this has been a really busy year. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it felt like we didn't get a break. And when we tallied all of those stats at the end of the year, it was you were mind boggling. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. wild that they started in January in of January, last year. We had one in January, February and in March. So mm. it was a really kind of unprecedented year for yeah. us in the weather department last year. Hopefully this year we're a little calmer, but right now it is all about the snow. Everybody's kind of gearing up and talking about this system that's potentially going to be heading our way for early next week. But before